and we are back. Welcome back. <laughs> Last time we finally restored our fossils and got us uh, Kabuto and Aerodactyl. We added Aerodactyl and named them Rocky. Today, Rocky! Today we are going into the mansion. Ah, love hate relationship with that place. <laughs> Why is that? Mm, well, I guess it's not really a love-hate relationship, but sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. There's a lot of cool Pokemon, and a lot of goodies, and some interesting lore, but it's tedious and maze-like. And the encounter rate is, like, ridiculous. <laughs> Those are the reasons why I love it and hate it. I'll agree with the encounter rate, it is ridiculous. But, <laughs> I, I know the place pretty well, so it's not really a maze for me. Oh, good. Actually, let's go ahead and switch Sparky with Rocky here, so, so that way we, he can get some some shine. Plus, this is actually the first time I've actually used the air deck on the playthrough, so yeah. I can still taste them blazed Doritos from the last episode. Why in the world is there a bed in the middle of the mansion there? Uh, too sleeping? I tried. <laughs> Ooh, Growlithe. Oh, yay. The only thing that sucks about Gen 1 is it doesn't learn flamethrower until, like, level 30,000. And it doesn't learn it at all if you evolve it into Arcanine, I think. There is no level 30,000. You know what I mean. <laughs> I think it's level... 40-something? <clears throat> no! Don't roar! It roared me out. I 
I forgot a new roar. Oh my god, the encounters! <laughs> okay. Oh, since Rocky passed out, let's go ahead and send Razor back up to the front. And give our Venusaur some time to shine. Oh yeah. Venusaur is the best. <laughs> burglar. Look at look how cute that little sprite is for the burglar. That is pretty cute. <laughs> He's so little. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, wasn't what I'm looking at for his back sprite? That looks like a big old bush. I have no idea. Means we want to make a salad. <laughs> With lots of egg and cheese and meat, because otherwise salad's boring. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I guess this is his body right here. Right, right through here. Right here's the leaf. I guess that's one petal, two petals, three petals. And I guess that's the uh, thing in the middle right here. Yeah. What's sticking out at the front? Then? I have no idea. Maybe another leaf. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe it's another, another leaf. Mm. 
Muck was caught. We could trade it for a uh, Kangaskhan. No, he was trading Kangaskhan for a Muck. He wants yeah. the Kangaskhan. Oh, no, other way. He wants the Kangaskhan. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Muck smells so awful it can cause fainting through degeneration. It lost its sense of smell. <laughs> well, I hope it can't smell itself. That'd just be awful with having to live with that. <laughs> because that's the aroma of sludge. And trust me, sludge don't smell pretty. July 10th. We cir circumcised the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. This was back when Pokemon was still said in our world, not the Pokemon world. Well, technically, it kind of is the best in our world with because uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield is is England. Well, yeah, they just give them different names. July 5th. See, that's a Guyana, South America. That's not even huh. given a different name. <laughs> the new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Of Southern Unova. <laughs> Maybe. No, Unova, that's uh, Paris. No, the Kalos is Paris. Unova is United States, New York. No, the only one we've had for America is, um, Hawaii. Gen 7. No, um, if you look it up, Unova from Gen 5. That's based on Manhattan, New York. Hmm. Huh. Grimer? Yep. Or the rest of the U.S., like mainland U.S. What one hit in the knockout? Another muck, which we've done caught. Do I have a repel in here? Um. Nope. Darn. Another one, hey, KO, with a different move. <laughs> February 6th, Mew gave birth. We named the <laughs> That's new weird. newborn Mew 2. Mew <laughs> gave birth. They retconned that one. <laughs> I thought they I thought they created Mew 2, not gave birth to it. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> I know, some of the, the, the lore in here is weird. <laughs> Max Potion.
Damn, I survive. <laughs> I hear you, Bri Bri. Hey, it's lived! That's the first one that was lived! And now we got Grimer. <clears throat> Made of hardened sludge. It smells too putrid to touch. Even Weeds won't grow in its path. Darn. <laughs> and I can't remember where I heard this one, but I heard heard it something like, um, whenever muck travels, it leaves pieces of itself behind, creating more grimer. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> I think it's the first one I'm gonna go down, not the, not the first, the second one. There could be a possible potential item behind them right now. Nope. <clears throat> but there's a staircase. Let's check out the staircase. I like exploring. Oh, I thought you said suitcase for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> yes, there's a suitcase for the Pokeballs. Here, I believe. <laughs> I know my my the uh, mazes in this game. <laughs>
Carbos. Carbos and calcium. Ooh, Gareth. Let's go straight for those both times as has roar. Nope. Take down. Kapow! If I attack, I'll knock it out. Let's go for another Ultra Ball. Nope. And there's the roar. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, my grammar impression? Oh, Grimer. <laughs> it sounded funny. <laughs> September 1st. Me too is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Make some room. Carbs. Calcium. Iron. Team fourteen. One thing I'd like to try and catch before we leave out of here, well, besides Growlithe, is a ditto. Yes, Ditto's in here, too. They're also, or at least in red, they're also on the other side of Fuchsia City. Hmm. In the grass. Forest store. Radicate. <laughs> <sighs> the Radicates. <sighs> Get rid of Radicate and Radicate, and this would, this mansion wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. And we found a rare candy! Woo! We could boost Rocky up a little. Right? Cause right now he's a freezer for this one behind.
TM22. And that's the one item we came in here for. The, the gym key. Alright. We're at Candy. Rocky. The secret key. Alright, we got a Growlithe. A Pokemon with a friendly nature, however, it will bark furiously at anything in valid in vowed Uh invading. Invading, okay, in territory. Ugh. <laughs> You can tell often I see that word. <laughs> <laughs> You're just looking at it funny, that's all. <laughs> no, I literally never see the word invading. I guess it's not, you know, a common word, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, I see the word trespassing more than I see the word invading. Ah. I worked on invasive species for my graduate research, so I use that word a lot. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's try out the gym here real fast. I always go over here and do the quiz and then I go over and take it and challenge the, uh, the guy. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I do the same thing, just so I can fight them all. Yes, and to prove my knowledge, <clears throat> kind of be evolves in the Butterfree. Technically, yes, but it evolves into Metapod first. Okay. Well, I didn't know they are skipping evolutions. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to take this gym out in no time. Yeah, the hardest is really like that bunch of three in the middle there. When you have to do Fuchsia, Sabrina, and Erica, and, and you get all mixed up. Right. Uh, who did you say that was? Who? The three in the middle. Um, Erica, Sabrina, and Koga. Okay, I don't know if you say Koga or not. I thought you may have said someone else. I said Fuchsia. I said Fuchsia, the city name. <laughs> <laughs> Koga didn't come to my brain right away. <laughs> so you weren't wrong. Nine certified gym badges? No, there are eight. Yeah. Polywag evolves three times. Technically, yes it does! Because it has a branch evolution, but not in this game! Yeah. Darn them. <laughs> I didn't read the question. Dang it. <laughs> Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Correct. Ivy, but they might have called them something else here. I don't think it's actually talking about uh, IVs. I think it's talking about personalities. Ah, because back then, back in this period, they don't actually have IVs. Yeah. They have effort values. I know that because of the Carbos and all that. But I don't think they actually have IVs. I did not know about the IVs. I did know about the effort values. Uh, 
Okay, now it would be pretty jank if if we could defeat the Jubilee just by taking a little quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Tomb Stoner. There is no such thing as Tomb Stoner. Even still today, there's no such thing as Tomb Stoner. Yep. <laughs> That's an easy question. Yes. Now, Tomb Stone is a thing, but not in this gen generation. <laughs> Blaine wants to fight. Okay, this is pretty bad. We've been using Leader this entire time, and he only has 8 points of damage. He's a tank? <laughs> In this, this gym? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't expect to have problems against Nine Tails. <laughs> or anybody here. Well, he's that uh, one up against like ten nine tails, which is making like ninety tails. <laughs> oh, out of that video I sent you, which one did you like the best uh, from the uh, the things? Uh, all the ones that talked about student debt, I didn't like, but I got a kick out of them, because they're true. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to remember which one that really made me laugh. There were a lot of them. There were a lot of really funny ones. Yeah. Two of my favorite ones was the one with the um, the business card-like thing that said, Class of, I can't remember oh. the year. <clears throat> we have 100,000 of these placed around the entire school. Good luck, get rid of us. Yeah, I like that one, too. That was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, oh! There's one, I, the one I liked the best, <laughs> I thought it was just so funny, um, was the hand sanitizer that said Paper Cut Finder on it. Oh, God, that was a good one. <laughs> I know! I'm gonna put the stick- I'm gonna write that on my own hand sanitizer in my office. <laughs> oh, they'll, I'm they'll definitely love doing that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> my, my other favorite one it's was... One was to take a risk and uh, to find an example of a risk and he wrote no. <laughs> <laughs> well, credit. <laughs> yeah. My other favorite one was the one where it was like, I have been grading papers for several days now and I come across this. Connect the dots and it was like, it was, uh, connect the dots was 100%. And then the teacher said, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> yep, that was funny. I I was laughing so hard whenever I saw that. I, <laughs> I nearly died. <laughs> oh, And we got Darth Volcano Badge, that fast. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yep. HP up, use on Rocky. Fire Blast. <laughs> All right, we haven't been really been recording for that long, have we? Mm -hmm. 
We haven't really been recording for that long on this episode, have we? Say that slower. We have not really been recording for that long on this episode, have we? Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> All Give right. it ten more minutes. If All it's right. a little long, it's a little long. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pokemon. We'll because go ahead. now things are getting interesting. Yes. We'll go ahead and, um. Try and take it on another gym. Okay. Wait a minute. There's no one in here. Okay, never mind. I thought there was no one in here for a second. These last two gym leaders, if you have a water type Pokemon, eh, they go, it goes by so fast, it's not funny. <laughs> Alright, finally getting rid of our weak little ember and touching Charizard Fire Blast. Alright, well, we're here at Giovanni. Woo! That was quick. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what you did with uh, with Snorlax trying to find the leftovers after he disappeared? Yeah. I did the same thing with Giovanni when I played Red. I was like, where's the Macho Brace? <laughs> then I was like, no! <laughs> 
Uh, I honestly I had no idea much of Bruce was where Giovanni stands. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go back into my red ver or uh, ver fire red and, and get to much of Bruce now. Yeah, you have to do that. Cause EVs are now a thing. <laughs> Ooh, hydro pump. No. It's all right. Surf is better anyway. Cause hydro pump fails a lot of the time. It's only seventy percent accuracy. I have good luck with low accuracy moves. I don't. <laughs> Is there a move within on this game? I don't think there is. And we defeated Giovanni for our Earth Badge. Yay! And we received TM27, Fisher. <coughs> okay, one hit KO moves I do not have that great luck with. But, low accuracy moves, like, you know, just powerful ones, I do, usually. Well, we got two gym badges today. I'd say we caught... This is definitely a good episode. For sure. <laughs> it's like the... You move fast in the beginning, then you go really slow in the middle, and then it speeds up again at the end. Right. Yep. Well, hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the like button. Comment down in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more content, and we'll see y'all next time. At the Elite Four! <laughs> well, we have to go through Victor Road first. Oh, yeah. Moltres is there. Yes. Sorry. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peace.